Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Dry Down, a place where we aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experience through different faucets, nuances, and aromas of scent cigars and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to the experience. Today I'll be presenting to you guys a tandem selection which will include jam cellars, butter chardonnay, and a nice addition to my perfume collection, Savoir Faire's signature fragrance. Um, if this sounds like the type of content you think you'll enjoy, put up a seat, pour a glass, and let's elevate. First guys, let's get into the pour. Today we'll be speaking on a Chardonnay, which is a very value and budget friendly Chardonnay. Um, it's made by Jam Cellars Winery. Its region is United States, California, North Coast, Napa Country. It is a Chardonnay of California with aromas that have a nice uh, apple, pear, lime, lemon blossoms, charred woods, clove, cinnamon, and other kitchen spices. Some primarily which would be nutmeg. The grape is of course a Chardonnay. From this, the aromas and taste they do defer in this particular wine. The taste you get off it are a tropical mango, tropical banana, uh, tropical pineapple, you get a buttery tasted uh, caramel essence, um, almost a, a brioche braided style um, palate feel and taste, a light smoke to it, and a light hint at vanilla spice as well. The alcohol content on this particular Chardonnay is 14.8 ABV. It's a very dry wine on the tongue. It's great pairing wise with Coastal fish, um, fresh lake fish, you get, um, I would say salmons, I would say um, filet mignon, I would even say as far as to go with like a, a lamb chop or a, a nice um, medium rare, um, a nice medium rare burger wouldn't do bad with this, especially um, in the summertime. Milk, cheeses, you name it, it's a Chardonnay, it goes with a lot of things. Getting into the pour, as I said, Jam Cellars Butter is it's a wine that features a, a, a smoked, charred, buttery flavor. Um, it's made from premium California grapes that are cold for a minute and gives a, a, a nice luscious texture to the mouth that almost feel like it's melting in your mouth when you drink this particular wine. Um, it's aged in crafted oak barrels for a nice tropical yet aromatic drink um, taste and aromatic feel to it. You got ripe pear and tropical pineapple hints that develop your palate with layers of warm spice such as clove, nutmeg, and a slight hint of cinnamon. It creates a very complex flavor profile for me when I drink this particular wine. This variety of Chardonnay white wine combines oak tannins with refreshing acidity for a well-flavored uh, or a well-rounded flavored um, oak aged Chardonnay out of California. It's a Napa Valley wine that pairs well with delicate foods, as I said in the beginning. Uh, things that are not too spicy or pungent. Uh, dishes that are featured with nice buttery textures and tones. Um, fishes, chickens, um, Pastas, um, Italian eatery will be great with this. Creamy, mild sauces, they complement the silky finish of this wine perfectly. The aromas, in getting, to, getting into the aromas of this particular wine, Jam Cellars Chardonnay has a surprisingly aromatic profile. And it celebrates the, the oak treatment that this particular Chardonnay gets. As soon as you open the bottle, um, with the, a, a twist cap bottle, a multitude of ripened green, citrus, and the tropical fruits emerge. You get, like I said, apple, pear, lemon blossom. They all join intense notes of charred oak and caramelized butter. They all dominate great on the nose, followed by a subtle hint of clove and cinnamon spice, adding a sweet, almost, um, almost like a gourmand, fragrant note to the scent that is just superb. For me, the body and the textures of this Chardonnay um, 
are just delicious. With a luscious mouthfeel, a wealth of exotic fruit taste like white pineapple and mango, which I blended uh, with smoked and vanilla spices, forming a nice savory palate. Um, despite the unstoppable creaminess of all of the flavors, are in perfect balance. You get some acidity, you get nice uh, complexities and savory notes, but all flow over a creamy texture profile. Um, the lively acidic acidity it offers a, a well-needed freshness to this particular Chardonnay, easing the intensity of the full body wine over the palate and in the mouthfeel greatly. Nice body and nice textures to this particular Chardonnay, especially for a value-based Chardonnay. And this also, the finishing to this particular wine, um, this Chardonnay, it, it concludes with a tasting profile that is lengthy and lingering in its finish. A hint of vanilla spice is prevalent as if um, refusing to part with the tongue, almost. It's, it stays throughout the entire, when it washes over the tongue, it goes into the cheekbones and it stays until the next sip. It's a very nice complex vanilla note placed upon this and comes with that charred oak as well. Um, it has a richness that I have previously experienced in other Chardonnays of higher end and higher value uh, when it comes to a Chardonnay a purchase, uh, in my opinion. Um, the aftertaste is creamy and okay. It can be a little bit overpowering in the charred taste. Um, I'm guessing that can come from a new age barrel, um, but it can be a little bit complex um, or a little daunting in the charred taste sometimes with the finish on this particular wine. But all in all, it's one wine that is equivalent to some of the best Chardonnays California has to offer. I enjoy this um, completely when on offer at my local grocer and or winery. And especially when it's most times under $14, you can't go wrong with the butter Chardonnay. When you pair it with a buttered dish, um, nice filet of fish, a nice creamy Italian dish, or a nice lean um, burger or lamb when you are making this pairing. It's great to go along with those. And also to go along with a nice cigar that is cream based, something like a, a Connecticut Shade Cigar would go wonderful with this particular um, Chardonnay. I've had those two combinations often and thoroughly enjoyed them. That's my assessment of Butter Chardonnay, creamy, silky smooth Chardonnay. It has a slight acidity to it, nice oak char taste. Vanilla and tropical fruits burst off the palate and leave you very refreshed when drinking this particular wine. I am one who recommends it to most of my friends in the Asheville Chardonnays they should sample, and it's one that goes over well with everyone I suggest it to. Let's get into the fragrance guys, the scent profile as I like to call it. And today I'll be introducing you guys to a, a fragrance that has come simply, I, I, it's, the name of it is exactly what it conjures up, a signature scent for many. Savoir Fair Signature Fragrance. This is a fragrance that opens with a languid, earthy green, vegetable, tomato leaf accord that is fantastically done. It's very, very unique, almost to the point where it's a essence that can make you stand off just because you don't know exactly what you're smelling, but you know you have a vegetation smell in your nose. But it's alluring as well because it comes with a sweetness with that vegetation. And so the opening of this fragrance is extremely authentic to that tomato leaf that they have inside of it. It portrays a very unique nuance. It's herbaceous, spicy aromatic tone that run concurrent with a supple butter soft leather accord that comes off clean refined and luxurious this the signature savoir faire it accentuates the comfortable and the bold with a livery of aristocratic privilege um, it's masterfully focusing on that butter leather accord that is somewhat almost giving you a temporal effect of like longing for touch. It has a rock rose that is an aspect that creates a green floral tint to it that has a, a nice rounded base of sweet, tasteful, lived-in elegance that projects comfort 
and confidence in equal measure. Very nicely done fragrance. This opening is wonderful with that tomato leaf. And so, getting into the heart of this particular fragrance is the, the wonderful part of it for me. It is, if you can wear this fragrance, Savoir Faire can become your secret weapon. Um, it's a barrage of smoky sweet woods. It, those woods, the uh, chords, have an inference of powdery, uh, yet earthy auras that mingle with an intensity and interesting use of balsamic lavender, like I mentioned. It's enriching and subdued, classy uh, sensuality of a fragrance. A warm, animalistic oud is detected, wafting uh, with slight cohesion, uh, blended and carried through with the leather core that is predominant in this particular fragrance. The heart is very nice with that oud, um, that balsamic sweetness that sweeps over it is, is fantastic as well. This is a true uh, signature scent because that powdery note of orris root mingling like I said with those woods and then you have that tomato leaf gathering in it's a very nice done scent and the leather is so nicely done it's a luxurious supple soft almost like an Hermes leather that you smell coming off this uh, that accord is great and then as you all know I love the dry down and on this particular fragrance the dry down is where you sense the confidence of the perfumer um, pulling in, just pulling in an orgasmic musk and amber essence with a lactonic sandalwood that makes a truly appealing scent that invites intrigue and masculinity that is unparalleled. And I love it for an independent perfumer. The contrasting of seductive facets in the base iridescent facets of the heart and intoxicating facets from the top deliver a subliminal trail of unisex leaning toward masculine sultriness with smooth and symphonic intensity. He did a wonderful job blending this particular fragrance. It is it has the audacity to just take over a room but also be subdued at the same time. It is very unique and signature worry, worthy. Suddenly sweet Surprisingly earthy off that nuance of tomato leaf, harmonizing with that robust leather. Very beautiful. Savoir Faire is a classic. And I'm very happy to bring it to you guys' attention. This one fragrance that came into my collection, and I've worn it in the last three months, maybe 15 times, which is a lot for a fragrance for me. I wear it usually throughout the daytime when I'm in the office and having meetings because it goes off in that atmosphere perfectly. Um, the aromatic style of it, the soft leather accords, it stays nice, a bubble of three feet around you in a climate control room. And it's a fragrance that stays throughout the day so that if you go into an evening uh, where you want to go out for drinks and have a nice nightcap, this fragrance will be with you and it smells great in every phase. All right, family, that's my experience with you guys today. As I always ask that if you found something entertaining or educational in your journey, that you smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so that you'll know when I upload more content. Um, if you have any questions, comments, just pop them down in the section below. I answer almost immediately because I love this as a conversational topic. Let's get into these fragrances, wines, and cigars. Until next time. Let's enhance, let's elevate, and stay blessed.